Hi guys, so I finally finished the board that I'm gonna take with me to Korea. This one's really cool because you can set it uh, standing up. You know, like sometimes you take portable skateboards to like Starbucks or something and you're waiting for food and you don't wanna hold it. Cause even though it's, this is only a, what is it? Maybe a eight pounds at most with everything. Uh, even though it's, it's, it gets pretty heavy if you just hold it. So I added this uh, little knob. <laughs> I cut it straight and I added a little one of those knobs for wood uh, from Home Depot so it stands up which I really like because that's one of the things when you have a portable skateboard like where do you put it you lean against something but sometimes you don't want to lean against something if you're at like a nice store or something then you can just lean it by itself uh, that's really nice uh, I got the lipos on there now so it's running real real nice let me actually go ahead and show you over here Got a, a Flipski 6354 single motor, and I had that crap uh, 10S1P battery, and uh, I had the settings reeled down, and then now I've got the, uh, it's a 6S, no, it's a 5S battery, uh, but I've got 100C. Uh, it's a 5,000 5, milliamps, so 5 amps times 100. So this battery, uh, on paper, it can do like 500 amps <laughs> maximum discharge. Um, I just set it to like 50. I mean, even like 25 should be plenty for like a single board. Uh, but now I notice it takes off way faster. Um, and then I had a problem where I would have a wheel bite and that would be really dangerous. And this would, uh, it, it just didn't work out on the front. These trucks are just not good for putting on the front unless you're using at least pretty big wheels. So I actually put them back and I needed a little bit more uh, clearance because this thing does go a lot so I, de I decided to just re-add the double kingpin on the back uh, and I have a half inch riser front same thing half inch riser uh, they're all 97 millimeter abex these are real nice wheels you know I wanted to go as large as possible um, and that's why I'm going with the belt because if I go with a hub motor the thing is you're stuck with like 90 millimeter wheels or smaller and they're not very comfy because they don't have a lot of urethane but this has a lot of urethane um, it's all urethane very comfortable you're not gonna you're gonna be able to go over small bumps uh, whatnot uh, and I used uh, I was gonna initially use duct tape but I had all this uh, what are this the, you know the, this thing here so I just wrapped it around and it's real secure and I have neoprene which keeps it secure also and then I just don't have a power switch because like I said this is like a temporary real quick and dirty job I made but the clearance is pretty good now I can go over bumps just fine um, and I made this so I can really turn well and because the back wheels are the trucks are longer uh, what you get is with the smaller thing you, you're 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 basically you see the belt the single belt stays on the ground more there's more pressure down because the trucks are wider so for I just realized I just randomly made it but I just realized if you put the trucks uh, wider trucks on the back for single belt it's gonna allow you to really grip that road a lot better uh, even just w with one motor especially when you're turning and and my turn rate is really good and let me go ahead and just ride it real quick for you guys and I can literally make let's see I can make like a four foot diameter uh, turns so like a this 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 is like a street so let's let me do a turn here and I can do only use like maybe half of the street and make a make, make a full u-turn so that's really cool uh, that's one of, but the main reason I got it for wasn't for speed but so I could do uh, do a nice you know carving because I want to get some exercise this is made for flat ground not for uh, it's not made for hills you could do like little hills, maybe up to 15%. But yeah, you, you're not gonna do any steep hills. I didn't make it for that, I made it for portability. I could have put easily put another motor, but that adds on uh, more complication. And I feel like this is a good setup because it makes it very portable, under 10 pounds. Um, and I like the wheels. Like I said, the hub motors, you're gonna be stuck with uh, very, very small wheels. And it's just not as comfy, but this 97 millimeter is probably as large as I would go 
without losing too much torque. But it turns, you can see it turns really well. I have very good traction. So I think this is a pretty good prototype I've made. Uh, as far as battery life on a 5S battery, which is a, uh, uh, it's got seven, almost 100 watt hours. So I could take, it's like 97.6 watt hours or something. So I, when I did the quick range test, approximately I get about anywhere from like six to like nine miles, I think. So that's gonna be plenty range for a short board. And plus uh, I can swap out, I have two batteries, so I can easily swap it out because it's just Velcro. I just undo it and replace a battery. Um, so the full range with the extend, uh, extra battery that I can carry in my backpack is gonna be, or pocket, it's gonna be almost 16 miles, I think. Yeah, that's gonna be plenty range for all day. I don't think I'll ever need to use it, but just have it emergencies, you know. But really love this board. Check it out. Yeah, it's it's a really, really awesome board. I like it. Uh, you can even with a 5S, you you can make it go pretty fast. I like I said, I'm, this is like a for me. It's like, I'm not gonna wear a helmet with this because I'm gonna go slow because. You know, but if I want to go faster, I don't know. I just wouldn't go fast on the short board like this. Maybe I'll go 15 miles per hour. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to go too fast on it. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I think it's a real good setup. And this thing fits in your luggage. Let me speed up a little bit. Show you, show you the acceleration. Hold on. Let me slow down. And do a full acceleration. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, once once you get off the initial throttle, just it you can just mash it. I think the top speed will be around easily 30, 32, 35. But yeah, I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't go that fast on it. Um, like I said, this is just designed to go on flat roads, a very portable board. Uh, I think it's, I'm going to have to weigh it again, but I think it's like eight, eight pounds. Yeah. So it's, it's made, made for portability. I'm um, easy to disassemble. All right. I just got two Velcro real tight on there. I got the two Velcro there. That keeps it real tight. Um, I don't have a belt cover. It doesn't fit. So it's great, but uh, it's, it's open should be fine. Very good clearance. Very good turning. Uh, ultimate custom board. And this is about 20, now it's a 26 inch board because I cut it and it fits in your luggage. I just got to take the wheels out and <laughs> there's no problems fitting. Anyway, uh, my new invent, my new portable board. I'm going to have, I'll have a full ride video when I'm in Korea after quarantine. Uh, anyway, have a great day guys. And as far as a kick, kickstand, it's, it's sort of a little weird because of the motor, but I can still do that. And then if I want to stand it up, I can pull it the other way. And let's say I'm ordering some coffee, let that board stand, and boom shakalaka. I don't have to worry about my board. That's that's the biggest thing with portable uh, skateboards that I realize, because you're always carrying it. You want to be able to like have it stand on its own. And all you have to do is put one of these 90 degree uh, thingies. Yeah. Anyway, have a great day. Just want to show you that.